Hello friends, and welcome to day 31 of our 1001 Tarot Reading Challenge. Today is asking the question, where should I spend my money now that I have enough for a large leisure expense? This is typically for people who had a sudden windfall, inheritance, something along those lines, and are trying to think of, what do I want to do for myself? So this would be comparing and contrasting three major purchase decisions. So if you are in that scenario, think of three different things, and we'll get into it. So we are continuing with the Chromatic Fates Tarot this week. And we're going to... This one's, I mean, pretty simple, because it's... Think of three major expenditures, whatever major expenditure happens to be for you, which is leisure of projected outcomes. And it's just option one, option two, option three. These suggestions that they give in this book are um, camper van slash trailer, something along those lines, two, boat, and three, do you just travel? So that type of expenditure is what this is asking about to compare and contrast them. So card number one, we have the four of wands. Card number two, we have the seven of coins. And card number three, we have the two of swords. Okay. So starting with the four of wands, it is upright. It was drawn by Will Escapey. This is the card. Just looking at the imagery on the card before even going into the like typical associations. This is a card of fun. There is some sort of party going on. People are, are reveling in uh, dancing with the flames, that kind of thing. So that seems like a reasonable option for your expenditure, if you have the money to burn, so to speak. Option number two is the Seven of Coins, drawn by A.J. Ramsey. It is reversed. For, for these ones, I'm just going off of the imagery on the cards. I'm not going to go to any like deeper meaning or, or traditional things on this. I'm going to put this upright so that you can see a little more detail. What's in front of him is actually a heart, a human heart that's growing into a bush. Being reversed, I think that's a bad decision. Whatever your, your second option was, there's going to be something that is heart-wrenching about it later down the line. It's going to look like it's... You will not have the long-lasting satisfaction with the second option as you assumed you would. Uh, card number three is the Two of Swords, which is by Anna Christensen. It is upright. The Two of Swords is interesting in this case. There's a lot of moon imagery and triple deity energy here. The forms are cloaked, so they're kind of hard to tell. I believe they are feminine. Third option because it does show, I mean, we, ha we have a, making sure I'm telling the right directions, dark, normal, and then kind of ghosty. Things are going to come in phases if you pick your third option. Sometimes you will really be grateful you did it, and sometimes you will think back on it and go, oh, was that really worth it? But overall, it, it's going to be a... As much as the moon itself does not change, our perception of it does. The same will be of that third option of expenditure. As with the other readings using this deck, the links to the artists and to the Chromatic Tarot project will be in the description. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe.
look forward to seeing you next time. Walk in the light, my friends. Bye.